Uh, what areas are you better now than you were a year ago? Uh, see, I, I've learned more about just defensive line as a whole, uh, different techniques and stuff. Uh, just working at my craft every single day. That's it. Stuff from watching other guys, or is it tips you up from coaching? How? Uh, just from, I mean, anything that I can take take in from, I don't know, watching other teams or just seeing how different guys beat different guys. You know, I kind of take that into perspective and just study my mind and try to get any tips I can and just go out on Sundays or whenever we play and try to make a big play. There's a real injection of young talent on the line through the draft this year. Did you take that as a challenge or an inspiration or anything? Uh, well, I try not to focus too much on uh, the next guy. Uh, I know every year it's going to be new guys that come in. I just focus on me and just get myself better every single day and uh, focus on my crowd. Was there much of a decision for you in terms of when you signed that reserve future contract at the end of the season? I know you were talking to some other teams going into that. Mm -hmm. What was that decision for you? Did you have other offers? or? I, well, I just spoke to my agent and uh, he just told me to just trust the process and uh, I decided to stay, you know, uh, sign the contract, come back and give the new coaching staff a chance. And it's been one of the best things I've done so far. It's been your impressions at Turkovac? As a position coach, uh, he got a lot of knowledge. Smart, smart guy. Uh, he's a good, good dude. He got a good heart. Uh, I like him as a coach. He challenges us every day to come out and lay it all on the line and even work on our techniques before, after practice, during practice, uh, anything, even walkthroughs. He still preach technique. Work on your technique. How can you get better? Don't take the reps for you know. Don't take advantage. Take it. Take full advantage of the reps that you get. You said you feel rewarded for having made that decision to come back. What about what's happened over the past you know, several months makes you feel rewarded, like that was the right decision for you? Uh, it's from, I, I known a lot of guys here. You know, I, I build a lot of relationships here uh, since last year. And I don't know, I just feel more comfortable going into my second year and more confident. Uh, I just feel like if I just work at my craft and be the best at what I can do, then I don't have to worry about anybody else. You know? Obviously, you guys would love to have Khalil back here, but in a strange way, does his not being here kind of open up other opportunities for, for guys, especially for yourself? Uh, uh, we miss Mike around here. Uh, that's my guy. He's a great dude on and off the field, so I hope everything work out in his favor also. Uh, but uh, I'm here right now, and other guys are here, so we're just going to focus on what we can do to get better and help this team win, win games. Playing a little bit last year and then coming in the reserve future. Do you, are you a guy that goes out to the field looking like every day I'm playing for my job? Oh yeah, every day. You can't take no days for granted. And uh, It's the NFL and it stands for not for long, so <laughs> you just got to take advantage of every opportunity you get and don't take no reps for granted. What was your, uh, what was your cell phone like after the game the other night? It must have blown up. Uh, I try not to look, try not to look too far into that. Uh, yeah. Don't get too high or too low on myself. I just know that every week it starts over, and uh, just got to keep grinding, keep pushing forward for the next game. All right, then what? Everybody looked and saw what you did. Coach Gruden yesterday talked about how well you did, even beyond the obvious stuff. Mm -hmm. What did you see on that film that you said, you know what, I, I can do better? Uh, I missed a couple. Uh, I, I kind of missed the ball on that second, uh, on that first sack I got, or well, the second sack I got, uh, where the ball came out. The very next play, I could have been more focused, or focused more on the ball. I could have got that ball out. I just kind of misgrazed the ball a little bit, but he held on to it. So little things like that would be the difference in you getting Let's see, uh, three sacks or four sacks versus like two or one and a half. It's the little things that matter. So that's the difference in here and there, you know? Can you put into words what the, the days between this Thursday night game and the run up to the 53 man roster are like for, for a guy that's fighting for a spot on that spot on that 53? Uh, I mean, it's a lot of, uh, let me see how I can put this. Uh, it's a lot of, I wouldn't say worried people, but that's a lot of people that's really uh, focusing on trying to make their future better as well as me too. So I just try to do everything to give me the advantage. Um, 
any kind, anything that I can do, study extra film, come in and get extra treatment. If I gotta get an extra run in, if I loosen myself up, man. Just anything that I can do to put me in the best situation to be successful is good for me. You played a lot of snaps Friday, mm -hmm. a lot. Any idea how much, if any, you're gonna be seeing on Thursday? Uh, I probably, I don't, I don't really know yet. We haven't really talked about play time just yet, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's something that we'll talk about today. And whatever I get, I'm grateful for, and I'm gonna go out and uh, make my presence felt. John talked about how the inside pressure is helping you guys on the outside get, get the sack you've been getting. What, what does that do for you? When you get that uh, um, like, I don't know if you remember the play of me, Arden, and uh, all those guys we all got on the quarterback. That's my favorite play of the day. Not only the plays that I make alone, but I love making plays with my teammates and just bringing that juice, you know, bringing that juice that I had in college and uh, just try to be a positive person around, you know, try to bring a little bit of juice to the field, get that thing going, man. What, what do you like about Gunther's defensive scheme as a whole and, like, for you, creating opportunities for a player like you? I feel like his scheme fits a lot of big ends, uh, and it shows athleticism, you know. Uh, it's, a, it's a challenge, too, to be in his defensive scheme. you got to pay attention. It's a lot of detail that go into uh, the playbook, so you just got to study hard and just make sure you're on top of your stuff. But I love the scheme.